Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to podcast number 30. What did you do? 31. Oh, it's a letter. <laughs> We're good. Just throw it on the shelf. But <laughs> welcome to podcast 31. <laughs> um, my favorite comment from the last video was, I'm pretty sure we said it on the last week, but another one was, when Drew wears pants, he looks like an amputee. <laughs> So he made sure to wear shorts this time. Oh, like we, uh, but now I'm just going to get chirped for having feminine legs. So big shout out to everyone, lose, though, lose. who is just, I don't know why, since podcasts come back, Drew has taken a lot of heat. <laughs> and let, let me just tell you, we love it. We love, it. We love every we, bit of it. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. <laughs> it's nicely offset by Chris looks like an alcoholic, abusive single mom who works as a cashier at Walmart. <laughs> Did work as a cashier for a little bit. Yikes. At Walmart, though? Because he couldn't push carts. He put them on till. <laughs> Fair. Oh. It's true. Um, so we want to it's talk true. about Drew and his blurred lines on COVID. Great song, by the way. No. Yes. <laughs> but so Drew, we were talking blurred ish. Eh, blurred. blurred when he chooses. Yeah. Ish when he chooses. Okay, so we were talking earlier about possibly taking a Dominican trip. I'm checking out for this whole conversation, by the way. A Dominican trip in November. That's the plan, right? I'm the moderator. Yes. November. End so, of November. Yes. End of November. So our plan is to go to Dominican, assuming that there's no more quarantine. Like, you don't have to go there quarantine for 14 days and come back in quarantine. Mm -hmm. If there's none of that, we would go. And Amanda was saying that as long as there's no U.S. citizens allowed in. Yeah, we really as long as the quarantine's gone. Okay. Yeah. So quarantine being the main factor. And also assuming everything's good here. Like if, if everything's gone to shit, we're not going to go. It won't be. Anyways. Drew said that he wouldn't do it because traveling during a pandemic is stupid. Do you want to make any other points? Specifically because of airports. Okay. So my first interjection here is remember way back at the beginning of pandemic when even traveling across the border by car set this guy off because I was completely right at the no, end of the day you were completely wrong because you went 4 to go 4 million cases you went to go see Bree every single week yeah, and her dad yeah, drove across the border her dad and you can't you can't be like oh it's a <laughs> a blurred line exactly there's the, blurred line time, number 1 i'll give you that it's funny cuz i'll give you that at the time i i kind of agree with you like he stayed in the truck doesn't matter wasn't in contact with many people and he has to wear a mask and everything. But now, when everybody's I mean, infected, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you only come in contact with the one. Okay. Yeah. Now, point number two I would like to make. The thing but that like I thought he about... He unloads and offloads his own truck. He has COVID. <laughs> <laughs> the next point I would like to make... My nose hit the mic. Which I thought about while walking downstairs to go grab my water bottle. Oh God, fresh one. Is that... Okay, so even if it was legally allowed, like the government said... <laughs> You, giddy. <laughs> the, the government said that you could go. You Which wouldn't. government? Ours. The Canadian government. Okay. It, it the Canadian government, <laughs> Canadian government comes out and says, you are free to travel. Yep. There's no quarantine. You can go do it. We don't care. Like everything will be okay. Your boy, Justin gets on the intercom. And is like, and says Drew. And this is for <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Drew. The most doxed. All the citizens of Canada <laughs> want you <laughs> To go to friends. <laughs> it's got to talk down to you, though. But <laughs> but so, the Canadian government says it's legal. You still wouldn't go. My boy, JT. <laughs> it depends when. And depends what's going on. End of on November. The the End of November. They say it's completely legal. I think it would be too soon. Okay. Say so, I would like to make this point. Okay. Is that Drew in the past has said similar things. Where he said, just because it's legal doesn't mean that you should oh, do that shit. God. It's still stupid. Okay. Now, now, <laughs> this weekend, okay. this weekend, Drew went to a wedding. And then when I said, Drew, you're a fucking idiot for going to a wedding, he said, and I quote, legally, we can have 100 people. <laughs> so, so you either have to choose a side. You can't say, oh, it's legally fine and I'm okay with that. Or it's legally fine, but I'm not okay with that. You have to choose a side. I will admit there's blurred lines here. Correct. Okay, that's evident. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot Multiple. if I say there's not. But there's a difference between working at like 20% capacity in a backyard, open space, well ventilated, maintaining distance, and also Plane's then like... Plane's pretty well ventilated. Did you have a mask on the whole time? No. But you're outside. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you talk uh, in the true. wind, just takes the COVID <laughs> <True>. down. <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> open your mouth, the wind's like that. COVID floats, and you're good. It just sucks up they, into the sky. That's what scientists said. COVID... Yeah. 
like floats to the highest point. The, again, the issue <laughs> the issue is is because America's downhill from Canada. They get the COVID. The COVID goes to them. <laughs> it goes up. <laughs> it goes up to them. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck! It's the other way around. <laughs> Shit. Or they're like, on a their, slope. Mexico, Canada. It all comes. All to America. of their COVID's wafting up to us, and it's only a matter of weeks before we get it. No, I don't like that theory. No, that's <laughs> fucking stupid. But my point still stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm checking out. No, you're here. You're present. <laughs> Just blurred lines. I'll admit, blurred lines, okay? You're, you're right at this particular moment. Mm-hmm. At this particular moment? Yep, about this one subject. Yep. I think it's different than traveling to another country with a bunch of people that you have no idea what they're doing, though. But legally, Every it's single allowed. person that was at that wedding, I knew exactly what they do on a daily basis. Okay, you fucking stalk And that is <laughs> That's not, true. not work and sit in their <laughs> fucking apartment. Every single one. Yeah, none of them. Or they work from home or like mm-hmm. don't work. But So when was the last time the two girls the at your table went to the grocery store? I guarantee you their moms do it. So Still same household. Actually, the one the one lives in Toronto, so probably. So yeah. rest in peace. <laughs> There's a reason everybody in Canada is, or in Ontario is going to be stage three except Toronto. Apparently Toronto is not that bad downtown. I, I understand that the numbers say differently, but my but Mike lives <laughs> in, downtown. He in, says like everyone like keeps their distance. But wears in masks. all honesty, like they have like what a couple hundred people in Toronto. I yeah, don't know out, the actual of, out of like two point seven. No, I thought you meant their population total. No, like, no, 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 no. So like exactly, it seems like they're a small town, right? And the two <laughs> somewhat million, they're doing well. They're just not doing as well as everyone else. Their yeah. percentage rate, I think, is like probably on par. I think with didn't the rest they didn't they announce? Didn't they bump Windsor up too? Yeah, yeah Winds, if yeah. Windsor's going to stage and three, we're, to go good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Yeah. They so oh, oh, Windsor stage three now. I think they're so going Friday. I'd like to point out another inconsistency. Drew's willing to travel to a third world nation I known as to. Windsor. <laughs> I don't get a choice. <laughs> but he won't go to the Dominican with us. Everyone, I am ter- I'm putting on three hazmat suits. Man, I guarantee, like three quarters of people who watch this don't even know what the fuck Windsor is. Oh, yeah. if you're from like, it's true. if you're from Northeast US, you probably know. I doubt it. Like, so, but it's it's right across from Detroit. Yeah, like, I know, know for sure. Or I, I guess I, Doggo lives like in Detroit area, but he knows Windsor. Well, that makes like, sense. He's in Detroit area. But like, I feel like if like, you're in that like North or I guess middle. Should I ask Ben when we're done this? He'll be our like tell. Do, do we you know, know if he doesn't fucking leave his house? Fuck. Do we know if those nurses that like, because a big thing when this all started was there's nurses that live in Windsor and are Canadian citizens, but work in Detroit. Yeah, they're still good to work. Yeah? Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. They're but. good to work. The only thing that was wrong with Windsor was all the like migrant workers. Like coming they, in or going out? Yeah, from coming, the U.S. Coming in. Yeah. Not even just from the U.S. Most of them are flown. They just, they didn't want to wear masks, so they spread it everywhere. <laughs> no, just I like just, you at the wedding. People have been so good at work about wearing masks, and I'm honestly impressed. Same. It hasn't, it hasn't been the same in other areas of the city. Um, but like our branch specifically, they've been really good. So for our job, they're like redoing the roof. So like, do you know, like, like the ceiling or the like roof? The, the roof. Okay. So like they're retarring it. So Isn't like it flat. Correct. So okay. you have to like pretty much like tar slash asphalt the whole thing. You do. Correct. How do you do that. You just pump it up. I, I, had, I don't know the concept regardless. They got to carry you're the manager. <laughs> the whole place smells like tar. Oh, and it's so bad. And that's so like awful. in the back, like in the meat area, they're doing it like outside. And then I think they probably I don't know. I don't know the concept, but regardless, it must be a pump. It's disgusting, and it's uh, the worst. They just they drive the uh, cement truck up. A- yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. They got like a crane set up outside. <laughs> they it's started crazy. at the uh, French immersion school down the road, and <laughs> yeah, they go up there. <laughs> I'm just confused as to like why why do you need to do that? So I think I feel like the roofs of those stores are kind of like the roof out there, where it's like because if you walk out onto the roof of the store, it's all pebbles. So like, there's some How sort often of filter do you go on layer. The roof? Uh, I've been there a couple of times, just <laughs> contemplating like things. No, like twice <laughs> ever. But like, it's all like send rocks. me a text next time, man, <laughs> and show you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do a flip. <laughs> oh come on. No, but like actually though, like why would it be pebbles? It must be. I, I've always seen that in all the TV shows. Like whenever they go up to like the top of skyscrapers or whatever, there's like just pebbles everywhere. I don't know why. So you're saying instead of pebbles, you think it's just really deteriorated asphalt? No, so they have to, they take all the pebbles off and I think they put a layer of just literally tar and fucking, ash, whatever they're putting up there, it's, it reeks and then they put the pebbles back because their stores, <laughs> the store's leaking everywhere. <laughs> and they put the pebbles back. <laughs> I assume so. I don't know. Well, like, what purpose would the pebbles 
Sir. It's like probably like a filter, so like dirt and shit doesn't get down into the drains. Oh, maybe. That's the only thing. Like, is it a of. layer, like a full layer, or it's just like, like spares? Okay, then yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Probably yeah, just would, fuck. It just stinks, and I hate it. <laughs> so when it so when it leaks, it's clean water. Anyway, what I was getting to is there's a bunch <laughs> of people at our like store, like like the staff now who are like already kind of iffy about masks, and now with this tar smell, they're like, I just can't do the mask. Dude. It's too much, and I'm like, oh. customers are now lighting them up. But again, we still can't say anything about it. Well, you can't say it to your own employees? No. Can't do anything. Can't you write them up? Isn't it the like old a... unions. <laughs> no, can't do anything. It's not the union. It's, what else would it be? It's that... like the company. It's like company mandate. That It's the company saying you can't yell at your employees for not wearing a mask. Can't say anything. You know how like what the, the bylaw is actually like you have to show like a medical whatever, right? You have to have some sort of issue. Yeah. Yeah. We can't ask them about that at all. If they say we don't want to wear a mask. They just don't wear a mask. Hmm. On to the second weird thing is my my boss went down to Niagara this yesterday and they're in stage two. We're in stage three. Went to Bass Pro Shop, which is a building you'd think in like that outlet mall. You'd think you'd have to wear masks, right? No, because they're in stage two. They don't have to wear masks inside because they didn't bring masks inside till stage three. Hmm. How much sense does that make to you now? Zero. <laughs> Correct. Because <laughs> so she's like down there doing all the shopping. She's like, yeah, I didn't have to put a mask on once. And then you're like, but you did, right? <laughs> no, she definitely didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've been wearing a mask since like stage one anytime I leave my house. Correct. But um, regardless. To go kinda, into an indoor place. Isn't that kind of strange? And then as a Friday, if she were to go in those same buildings, they need to have a mask. I guess that's the same thing here. You, yeah. You didn't have to strange. wear a mask. There's the same thing in Halton too. Like. But Today now looking was the first actually, day that you have wait, no, to. we we technically had to wear masks Last during week. stage two because stage three came on Friday, right? No, we didn't have to in stage two. I didn't it have was to last on. last Monday. I, yeah, I didn't have to put was a mask stage on. Stage three. Yeah, or the start uh, of the mask. I don't know about stage three. No, but I'm pretty sure stage three started on Friday. Yeah, it was. I didn't have yeah, to put so a like, mask so on Yeah, so technically for like a few days in stage two, we had to wear masks. But it was just like about yeah. when the city actually makes mm -hmm. it a law. Yeah. Strange though. Doesn't it just seem stupid? Like I can travel an hour counterproductive well mask. that's like what the people in the states are doing they're like i have to wear a mask so i'm going to this other state to have my wedding with a thousand people <laughs> because nice. they still allow it and it's yeah. like uh, it kind of sketchy uh, 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 it kind of okay. explains where they're at didn't florida just cap like seventeen thousand a day or something yeah they've had over ten thousand a day oh for the God. past like week or something <laughs> I, I, and the the whatever oh, whatever dude i don't know if it's the mayor governor whatever he's like mm -hmm. We're not locking down, unless Trump tells like tells us to lock down. We're not locking down. I think I read that Georgia was literally like, yeah, no, you guys don't have to wear masks ever. Like that that was from like up top down. Like don't wear masks. You don't need to. I love <laughs> like Georgia things. <laughs> I, I follow a few people on Twitter who are from Florida, yeah. and almost all of them are just like cheering about everything being reopened, and like none of them are wearing masks. I'm like, dude, just. Wear we're mask. good they're like we got our rights back <laughs> we're good <laughs> well, you'd think some people would have some oh, sense and but the, the whole update to um i think we talked about it last time where the cdc is no longer the official record keeper of all the covid data we didn't talk about it but it's so sketchy okay so yeah they're like did you hear about this yeah it? so it's first now, bid it's company now, it's not no, no it's going to the white house there's a there's a private company that also does it now they they sold like instead of the cdc doing it now it's a private company record or records everything well, the article i read it said the data goes straight to the white house i think the white and house is the one that it as they please i think the white house is the one who publishes it but the, oh, i'm okay, pretty sure okay. the private company is the one that holds it oh, so good. they so sold it to a private company so if they don't like what they see that from the private company they can just you know, i think they so rearrange it, it and <laughs> unless i was Yikes. reading something where they were like guessing what would happen but honestly I'm literally sure to solve the to solve their issue just test less yeah, yeah. No, the cases would definitely go down if they tested less. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. testing less and then like slowly wean it out till you're testing zero and you have no cases. If you're, yeah, precisely. You know what I'm actually interested to see is when will our first podcast be without COVID talk? I don't know, man. It's going to be a long so time. Like, not is... saying that we talk about it too much, but just like, because it's an everyday thing now. So like, yeah, how long will it take? It's a way of life. Yeah. I, probably when I have to not wear a mask all day at work. Yeah. Mm. Which it like literally, actually... They have an end date. I'm, re I'm reminded of it literally every time. Yeah, they have an end date right now. It's like end of September, I think. Yeah, but they'll like, push. They that have on. an end date to open the borders. Mm -hmm. Did That's they been pushed that? back six times. <laughs> yeah. But have they extended it since? Because it's supposed yeah, to open it's going in into August. Oh, nice. Perfect. 
I think August how 28th we, or something. How would we not go to Dominican? And when they open the borders, we just like weekend in the States or something. Las Vegas, maybe? <laughs> uh, let's go to New York. It should be good by then. Walk the downtown street. <laughs> <laughs> New York's good, right? <laughs> Let's go to Portland. <laughs> what? what happened in Whoa. Portland? Yeah, you said you want... I, I, all I know is there's been, like, riots for, like, eight weeks straight and now like or something. some sketchy, like... Oh, is that the thing I read where they said, yeah. like, uh, they just, like, took over the police precinct or whatever? Yeah, there's, like, unmarked cops just, just putting random civilians in vans and stuff. And disappearing. And there's, like, no media coverage of any of it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's very so. This is our media. We're doing our part. You welcome Portland. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out Portland. They start, they use this in a clip on the news. <laughs> <laughs> Three oh, Canadians God. talk about shit they don't know about. Yeah, I was gonna say I have no idea. I just <laughs> yeah, saw I, I saw know. the whole Reddit thing about the the vans. Yeah, because um, it was on front page, wasn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. I have no idea what's going on down just there. Just unmarked vans picking people up. Could you imagine? That'd be so yeah, sketchy. Yeah, here that's like you go to jail for that kind of thing. Those are the guys with the candy on the vans. Like, yeah, and there's candy. They're, they're just doing that in Portland for kicks right now. My, one of my favorite things. Like, hey, I got candy. Hey, I got candy. <laughs> one of my favorite things I've ever seen. Have you guys seen the show New Girl? Yeah. <laughs> it's Jess. Yeah. It's like they, they talk about how innocent she is and like how she's too trusting of people. Mm-hmm. She's like, you never know like what you could miss out on if you don't trust people. And then it just flashes back to when she was like five and an old creepy or like a 40 year old man like pulls up in a white windowless van and says like, Hey girl, do you want some candy? She's like, yeah, I do. And then the door swings open. It's his mom. And she's like, we made too much. Here you go. (laughs) Did you see the one where she's trying to learn about Tinder? I think so. She's like trying to learn about Tinder and she's basically like this guy would be like, um, yeah, do you want to go out on a date near my house? And they'll get there. And she's like, he said he just forgot his wallet at home. So I went back to his apartment with him. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> he was just like offering her drugs and shit. And she's like, it was a little weird. So I left. And then the whole <laughs> thing's about like um, her friend teaching her why, like how to vet people on Tinder and stuff. Oh, God. And it's like this full, um, full, full course. And she gets to the end and he's like, okay, this is, this is like your exam. Like you're going to go on this date and figure it out. And he says like a couple weird things, and she's like, "No, stalker, bad," <laughs> <laughs> and like leaves. And then um, she talks to her friend about it, and his friend's like, "Honestly, he kind of just sounded like a genuine guy." And she goes back and gives him another chance, and he ends up being like this really fucking weird dude. And she's like, "Ah," <laughs> and just dips. Man, you guys never had to deal with that. What? I guess I technically never had to either. The whole yeah. Tinder scene. Bumble. No. Oh. First me- or first person I actually met. Off a dating app was Annie. Annie! Home Annie. run, first one. Yeah. Done. What? Easy. It's like an inside the park home run, though. Not yeah. like an over green monster home run. <laughs> Meanwhile, Drew had to take two runs at the same name to finally get one right. I got it. Got to write the second Bree time. one, Bree ground, two. Ground rule double. <laughs> the first one sucked. How, how much? <laughs> Shout out old Bree. Yeah. Would Bree, like, break up with you on the spot if you called her Bree number two? I'm pretty sure the first time she met my dad, he called her the other bird. Yeah, but like if you said it to her, would she murder you on the I spot? might get a slap. What if like next time she's over, we're like, oh, hey, other Brie. And she's like, oh, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Drew introduced us to this other Brie the other day. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's just false. <laughs> <laughs> but Drew's two, like, two Drew against one. Drew's phone text her quick. Like, this is going to happen. Please don't blame this on me. It was their just idea. just setting me up for failure for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I, I can Where's work some photos. <laughs> Let's send her a cl- send her this clip, and then we'll have Drew Wednesday. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Fuck. Are we just? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> is this just the podcast where we just roast Drew for all of his idiocies? It hasn't been. Like, this was the. This no. wasn't even a roast. You guys this got it all out of your system. No, but I pool. want to now. Yeah, we we torched this kid yeah, for like got, twenty <laughs> minutes out there. Yeah. You got the <laughs> aggressive <laughs> side out of it in the pool. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> This was the tame version. <laughs> yeah, we're still playing Halo on Wednesday. You guys are correct. Yeah, yeah. I hate you for it. But when, you when do you leave? Friday. Yeah, and Wednesday. Nice. So this guy's literally <laughs> I'm got here Thursday. Fuck you. He, he's the worst for planning I'll anything. I'll come hang out with you at work. <laughs> what, no, what I don't we, want that. I'll stock shelves with you. What we no. need to do <laughs> is make like a Google Calendar. And then we can just see where Drew is. And if Drew ever double books us, then we each get to like kick him in the nuts. 
I could work. I'll make an Excel Bri, spreadsheet. Bree made me is. a Google Calendar one time so we could coordinate our thing. I don't know where it is. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds just like you. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She gave up on it, not me. We're just hurt that we only get like three three days this week with you. Well, I was supposed to spend all night with Christian. What night? So that's Thursday. One. Yeah, but Two. my friend is fucking leaving the country. That's not my Why fault. Is he- Pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so going on vacation friend, to Seattle. No, my friend lives in Seattle <laughs> working at Amazon. Okay. And Oh, he, so so he he didn't get to stay. He yeah. <laughs> they, like he <laughs> basically so much. his work emailed him and said we're extending our work from home until January. So absolutely no one's going into the office until January. <laughs> okay. And so he messaged his HR saying, "Can I stay in Canada until this is over?" And they said, "No." <laughs> nice. They're like you have to be back in Seattle. To work from home. Nice. Which is the weirdest thing because obviously HR isn't there to protect you. It's to protect the company. But mm-hmm. the company is saying you're not coming into work. And his manager is even just like stay. Like you don't have to come back. Wait, but so like why? How would they yeah. know? But wait, why is he so going back? My, my theory, he doesn't know either. My theory is it's probably something to do with the company and his, his like work visa. Being like he has, he can't leave the country for more than two months in a row or something. Oh. Like he has to be in the US presently working because... Technically, like if say I'm streaming here, right? Mm-hmm. If I went to the U.S. for an event and I streamed while I was there, technically I'm supposed to pay U.S. taxes on that because I'm working in the United States, mm-hmm. even though it's a Canada-based company, Canada-based operation. So it'd be like the opposite. He's working here, but he should be paying taxes here if he was working here. Right? Yeah. So technically, yeah. he's working in a country, but like it's well. In that case, go back to Seattle. Way way lower tax. Bracket. Again, here's the thing: he makes a lot of money, so yeah. I go back to Seattle. With Chop's gone. Who's Chop? Uh, it's no. the Chaz. Chaz. Oh, yeah. Well, they called it Chop afterwards. Oh. We, were, we were joking. You lived like a block away, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all yeah. cleared out now. It's good. The actual police went in there. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Oh, it sucks because he's just like... I think all of his friends who live in the city moved back home because they all live in the States. So they just went back home for COVID. Mm-hmm. And now he's just like, I literally... You're like, oh, COVID, let's go. You want to, let's get some. <laughs> he's like, I literally just sit in my apartment all day by myself. Yeah, it is what it is. Again, he yeah. gets paid very well to do so. It, it drives you insane. Just... Sure. Yes. But so but does why COVID. Why don't you leave your apartment? Because he's got apartment. us. We come here. Uh, this is an apartment building, Christian. No. Basically, is. True. But uh, like, if I had to... If I were still by myself like Annie wasn't around... For all of COVID, I didn't see any of you guys. I probably would have like started to go insane. See, I want to say yes, but we st- we talked almost every day. Probably it's, it's different. Po- we like played talking. video games together. Yeah. yeah, but we still chit chat. Like I don't know. I f- I was fine, but again, like, I have Amanda, so it's different. Yeah. Well, but even the difference between me and Bree, like Bree's kind of losing her head a little bit, mm-hmm. but like I, but like even e- I was playing video games, was, like I was having interaction. Here's the issue. Oh, okay. She All was right. probably losing her head a bit before, but we just, <laughs> you know, just kind of pulled we it out. Had that talk yet? Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Sorry, <laughs> but no, I, I definitely no, get it. it. <laughs> I don't know, like. I feel like obviously it's different for us with the games, but it still like would be to a certain degree. If I had no human interaction yeah. for four months, I would be going insane. I honestly, if I had to go live in Seattle right now, I think a large part of my anxiety would just be from being in the States, not even 100%. just like not seeing people. Like even, even if I was sitting in like no contact, I would just be anxious as fuck. The I forgot time. for that first, like three quarters of COVID you lived with your parents. I was like, you had you didn't have human contact either, but no, and you worked were at, from home. Yeah, you were chilling with your parents. My dad worked from home. My mom retired. Worked from home. You had your last little bonding. Thirty-seven and a half hours a week. <laughs> the amount of times Drew would be like, thirty. You, you want a buddy a for stream today? <laughs> I was on lunch um, <laughs> for three hours. It's like when Becca goes on lunch. She's like, I'm on lunch for five hours. <laughs> Becca like, plays oh. video games for a living. Very different. Becca has good internet now. So do you? She's so she's good. Yeah. When are you getting that put in? Soon? So I got an email. Can I download stuff before I leave? And it was from a do not reply email. Okay. And they said, please reply with this information. <laughs> so then Sketchy. I emailed my point of contact and he never responded. So I'm like, am I still getting internet? <laughs> I want my fiber. Yeah. That is but it was, it's basically just like an email saying like, you owe this much money. It's at this address. Confirm your name. I just don't know who the fuck I email. I don't know who I am. So I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> True. I'll probably just, if I still haven't heard anything, which I probably haven't, um, by the end of tonight, I'll probably just email back at the do not reply mm-hmm. and just hope 
someone sees it. It's a fucking hacker. <laughs> this guy just got oh. Bitcoin scammed. <laughs> That's another thing they're doing in the States is they're starting to hack all the road signs to just say, fuck the police. Oh, my God. There's a bunch of videos on Oh, Reddit like today. the LED signs? Yeah, like the, gotcha. the construction ones that go across. Mm. And there was like four police officers sitting in front of it, and they just like turned around as it goes, like, fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Shit. <laughs> Apparently those are really easy to hack. Yeah. Because Probably. since they use them for so many construction crews and like it's a so many different people, most of the passwords are just like one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And you just type in whatever you want in the back of it. Someone on Reddit, so it must be true, just said it was the same password for everyone. Oh. What is it? No. I didn't read. <laughs> Reddit, tell me. <laughs> I, I guess he didn't read it. I got read some. it. No. Oh. You. Bitch. <laughs> I got some highway signs to fix up on the way home. <laughs> That's a ballsy move to pull over and then get out of your car and go to a highway sign. Yeah, what if you did that like 3 a.m.? Like, chances are there's going to be like three cars that go by you, and as long as one of those three cars aren't a cop, you're good. If and one if of those three are cars cop, are a cop, the message who it's for. <laughs> yeah, but if, if one of those are a cop, you better just get back in your car and start going because you're yeah. in shit. Did I tell you guys about when I went to go see Annie in the car wreck that I saw? With no. like a turned around uh, pickup truck with a trailer? No. Oh, okay. So I was going to go, or actually, I think Annie was with me when we were driving up to Toronto. And then it was like a huge amount of traffic. And we're just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is it so congested? It was like by Mississauga. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I guess it's like rush hour maybe. Like people are just going on. And then when we finally pass, um, there was like four cars pulled to the side of the road, all with like broken fenders and stuff. <laughs> and we pull up some more and it's like, we're driving on the right side Mm -hmm. and then on the left side we see a pickup truck with a big trailer like one of the ones you'd use to transport a car and it's turned the way we're going but on the other side of the highway (laughs) and we're like did it just like (laughs) crash flip over the median and tail whip three cars (laughs) and like what the fuck because there was like on both sides, it was backed up, and there was, like, 10 police cars, a mm-hmm. bunch of cars, like, pulled over to the side. And when, when there's crashes hit. on the 401, like, they are nasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did I, I know I told you. Did I tell you how the one day I literally saw two car fires on my way home? No, but, like, judging from where you came. I was, I, I, so I'm driving by, everything that slows that. down, <laughs> and I look on the left. There's, like, four fire trucks, and then just a car burnt to a crisp. Like black steel, the Again, whole thing. That was the you and Bree are being hunted by the mob, burning these cars. Yeah. So that was the uh, that was the day where it was like <laughs> pouring, pouring rain out. Not like no. the tornado warning day, yeah. but the day before that, wasn't it? No, it was no. I'm pretty sure it was really it was sunny. No, it wasn't. It was 110 percent sunny because you went I to pick up. The- no, you went to go pick up pizza. On that day, and you were like, "Dude, it's I was I got soaked going in to get pizza." You're right, but it was sunny when I saw the fires. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think for one because the second one I went past was mm-hmm. on fire. <laughs> Guys, fire doesn't work in the rain anyway. And there was there was like a thirty foot just smoke cloud going up, <laughs> and everyone was moving over, and I was trying to move over, but there was like a huge semi truck, so I had to go one lane over it. from the car fire, mm-hmm. and I could just feel the heat as I'm going by. And I also Ooh. just like stepped on the gas because I'm like, this thing might just explode. I don't really know how that works, but I feel like they wouldn't be better safe than sorry. cars go by. Was there fire people already there? Yeah, like they were ah, just getting there. Like it, oh. it was actively on fire. I, I could be wrong, but I remember reading something about it where like when a car is on fire, it very rarely explodes. Really? I don't how know is that possible? why. Like, wouldn't, you'd think if it's burning, wouldn't it just hit the gas and go. But I think the gas, it like. I don't think it just explodes because I think it just kind of like well, it needs oxygen. Have you got, have I think you, it sets on fire and then just like burns away at it. Oh. Kind of like, you know, when you have a, a like the barbecue lighters yeah. and you just hold it. I think it's supposed to be a similar concept to that where it would just like burn away at the gas. See, I don't think so. Have you I guys think, ever taken like gasoline and put it in like a fire? And like, I think, so this, like, I think we, this is worth a, a Google search. We put like a margin, like a little like butter tub <laughs> of gas in like a, in the fire, built the fire and then like put a little gas trail to it. So like, so the gas trail lights and then the fire starts to light and there's nothing. And then this little margarine tub just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this fire everywhere and it wasn't a good idea. Don't do See, it. See, but I feel like it's the fumes that ignite. So if you're, if it's in a closed, um, line for a car, like it would just be the gas, like oil, whatever itself on fire. Maybe. Side okay. note, have you ever made homemade napalm? No. See, if I looked that up, I'd be in fucking jail because they'd be like a Hispanic no. guy trying to make napalm. Wait, why would you do that? 
because you're white and well, you can. Well, hey, mom, look what I. <laughs> that's how it's how Graham's older brother promposed in high school. We'll get there. Continue. Okay. Uh, based on a quick Google search, <laughs> almost never will a car explode when catching on fire. Interesting. And it, says, it says the reason why is because in order for an explosion to occur, normally it needs to be compressed gas. And a gas tank isn't compressed. It's just like liquid. Mm -hmm. So I guess it just lights on fire and it'll have like a fireball, which is probably where you see like the car just setting on fire, but it's not going to be an explosion. And maybe that's why I think with like the tub, it like it, it, it seemed like it blew up, but it was probably just like a big flare where we all turned. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't the heat like, so it's got a gas cap on it and everything. Wouldn't the heat build the pressure? Everything would be melting though. Yeah. The gas would like leak out. Yeah, and also, fair. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure most gas cars have, like, vents so that it doesn't, like, compress. Yeah. Doesn't it? Like, there has no to be idea. somewhere where, I wouldn't like, be surprised. I just have no idea. I don't... I feel like through the gas cap, like, it probably can release air. Like, I'm pretty... Isn't the gas cap just solely to stop stuff from going in, not Correct. to, like, build so not pressure? not water in. Yeah. Yeah, so then it wouldn't have pressure. So there has to be something somewhere where it like can mm-hmm. vent. What happens when when oil sets on fire? It doesn't blow up. It just like sits and burns for a while. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't even have a fireball. That's why you have oil lanterns. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. You light it up. <laughs> it just explodes. <laughs> yeah, it explodes every time. <laughs> Look, everything's bright. You can't see. <laughs> so napalm. Okay, let's hear this. Don't is this gonna be the, the most? <laughs> is this gonna be the most hick thing ever? No, no, no. It's really simple. You just mix gasoline. <laughs> Okay. And styrofoam. And it makes like a paste that okay. just stays lit on fire forever. So he... Forever? Wrote, really? Yeah, yeah, forever. It's crazy. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know. Does it? No, no. no. Okay. Very, long, very long time. Okay. I was like, that's um, so cool. It just <laughs> forever fire. Just light a tire on fire. So to promise, we made a bunch of this stuff literally down the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we, we we like pasted it onto the, the uh, road just saying like prom question mark and then he got her to come over and he lit it on fire and he sets her on yeah, fire she said yes they were dating oh, okay good um, that would have been awkward but he went away for alaska to alaska to go research birds that mm-hmm. summer and she went to the airport to pick him up with his parents and he broke up with her in the airport and then had to drive home with her he's <laughs> fucking is he stupid yeah it's just a dick <laughs> no, move he's just, he's just him <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a dick move but it was kind of funny i guess he realized on his bird trip that he didn't like her but like have the decency fucking to like maybe wait a few days after you get back see i think he thought like he didn't want to drag it out like he knew he wanted to do it i think that's the more decent way to do it but i don't think there wasn't any logic there or just break up with her before you come back so she doesn't come and pick you up but then you're doing it over text I would, I would personally, I would much rather have someone break up with me before I go to pick them up at the fucking airport than for them to break up with me there. Bird watchers, man. <laughs> you had me there. It actually sounds pretty sick. They got to go like deep into um, the Arctic and they, they had like a designated bear killer for if they got like attacked by polar bears and stuff. What's the bear? Like a research, person like, or like a dog? No, like, it's like I've trained my dog a, to kill it's bears. It's a sentry a turret. With a huge gun on like oh. his own sn- uh, snowmobile. Cool. And then they just research like flight patterns and stuff of birds. And, so he got, like, and he got paid to do it. Is he like a birdologist now? Or? He, no, he well, actually went to school for zoology. And? Uh, he's I, a teacher. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> so it didn't work out, did it? <laughs> well, he might be teaching zoology now. You never know. It's a course nowadays? Yeah. Well, yeah, to be like degree. to work at a zoo, most oh, people have... I, Why did I just assume like high school? I'm like, you can, I guess, university and stuff, yeah. I'm like, you can take zoology in high school? That's where my mind went. My yeah, bad. You got a degree in it. <laughs> you take care of the frogs before they go to the biology lab to die. But he always had reptile. He, he really liked snakes. So he had a snake named Lily growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, one day, Lily got out of the cage, and we have no idea what happened to her. Oh, just like gone, gone. Like somewhere in the house. So there was, there was like a couple months where we were just like, probably a snake climbing around in the walls but they found her eventually no no 
<laughs> no. I'm going to assume it probably just got out. There might be a python living in the neighborhood. I was going to say, do you hear oh, all those? python? Well, it wasn't like a python. It was like a python. Do you hear no. all those stories in America of like the people who are like, my steak got too big. What do I do with it? I'm just going to let go inside. And then they just have like a thousand babies. And now there's a thousand like literal pythons rolling around. And they don't know where the dogs in the neighborhood are going. Because <laughs> this fucking snake comes and consumes the thing. Dude, when I was a kid, away. I was so <laughs> petrified of anacondas just rolling up to my house and eating. <laughs> me because i i watched that movie when i was like when i was like six years old which I was like, movie anaconda snakes on a plane. <laughs> i went to snakes on a plane too yeah anaconda yeah you know, anaconda I've seen it don't back in the day My, yeah have you seen it drew yeah I it's a so. it's a horror movie but like it's the in like giant the jungle fucking, and stuff right? yeah yeah and it just eats people whole yeah i was so petrified of that happening to me just like i was just gonna get eaten up by an <laughs> anaconda right i wasn't terrified because okay you know like so where i lived where you lived there's the park mm-hmm. in between us or i guess it's like a fucking wetlands pretty much conservatory we just, yeah we also we used to always fuck area. around there and one day we found a snake and i was like i was like sarah hey look and i'm like holding the snake by its fucking tail and it just fucking bit my arm i'm like sarah look <laughs> and then it's just hanging from my arm biting me <laughs> but uh it was like a garden snake it's the we most sane thing i've ever it's, it's like, like garden snakes don't bite they're not poisonous. They're not poisonous. Oh, okay. But yeah. they still bite. All yeah. snakes bite. They have to. No. Boa constrictors constrict. And then they go. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a bite though? Snakes don't like bite. They swallow. I think some bite, don't they? What's a rattlesnake? Like rattlesnake definitely bites and then swallows. Yes. Right? <laughs> I think so. so it for, some reason, you. for some reason, I want to say it stings, but that's how you know it's coming. Is it? <laughs> no, a sting is when it has like a pit or like a stinger. I know. What does a scorpion do? Does it sting? It stings. It stings. Yeah. And the smaller, the more dangerous. So when we were watching Clash of the Kings, Clash of the Titans, that one last night, there's like these huge scorpions that come in. I'm like, oh, they're not dangerous. They're massive. <laughs> He's just like, oh, you don't have to worry about the sting. I'm like, it's the size of my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like attacking them. Like, it's not poisonous. It's like stop eating poisonous. Them. It's you're not good, poisonous. You're good. <laughs> what does yeah. a platypus do? Um, I think it bites. Don't they? Um, aren't they like superheroes? Yeah. I watched a show with one in it. Yeah. And it like, they, it had they, like an, under, it like pretended to be a pet and then it went underground. It's like, they get oh, rid of I'm evil. a superhero. I'm pretty sure they're venomous. So Oof they bite. Evil Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually? Yeah, they're venomous. They're like they're actually lethal, or uh, maybe they're not lethal. But I <laughs> oh, we got a new Mister Google in town. This is good. It's better than I, you. I cause... I agree. It deserves. I, I know they're I know they're venomous. I just don't know if it's. Uh, Do they have like a venomous dangerous. gaze? Um. Well, so venomous means that they bite. Uh, no. Yeah, venom is injected means... through biting, and then poison is injected through stinging. That's the difference. Really? Yeah. But you can have venomous saliva. Wouldn't what? it be poisonous saliva? Uh, but it might be neither. well. It might be venomous because it would come from like your teeth, so it would go into your saliva. Oh. But doesn't venom come from like saliva glands? Because I know when snakes bite, it, they have like glands. The platypus in their has fangs. a venom gland. So how does it do? I'm it? Right. Like, does Let's it have go. to like suck on something and then it slowly poisons? Uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just treats you like a popsicle. You're just like you have like this fucking like platypus just like suckling your hand and then all of a sudden you just die. No. Maybe that's where slow bro. It's on its hind legs. <laughs> it's venomous so, from its hind legs. So if it drop kicks you, if you get drop kicked by a platypus, you're and poisoned. I need to it's, see a picture of a platypus taking down a prey. It's not prey. lethal. Oh, well. It's just excruciatingly painful, but apparently no, who cares? For it's <laughs> only found on the male's hind limbs, and apparently it's somewhere in this photo. <laughs> I just don't know what we're looking at. Like the claws? I don't. I think it's dude. It that's my a fucking duck. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I, I was reading a Reddit thread about this. It looked where like a like... mallard duck, not a platypus, Christian. <laughs> a ma- imagine a venomous mallard duck. That would be terrifying. A venomous Canadian goose. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> jeez. You Maybe walk I'm, through the park. He bites you. <laughs> Fuck. <I'm dead. laughs> no. Turn well, into actually, a goose. What a, a guy I went to high school with made it to the news because he was in Western and getting chased by a uh, goose. He was literally running and the goose is going after him. It was like all over the news. It was hilarious. Nice. But, um, I, I read a thing about the platypus and just like imagine trying to explain that like when you're exploring the world and like 
the the natives of the island are like oh we have this creature that has the bill of a duck the back or like the body of a beaver <laughs> the tail of, of a beaver as well and then like uh the feet of a duck and then it's poison or venomous as well yeah. be like you but like, that's not true <laughs> what the not, f- it can't it's really hurt that's and it's true. a mammal that lays eggs <laughs> <laughs> They're like that's not true, and then like they're they're, they're like, like, oh hey, nah, look, there's a fucking exist. dog walking over. <laughs> Platypus walks over, drop kicks on the guy, dies. <laughs> what can they kill with their venom, or is it literally just supposed it's to? It's probably like a, like a defense thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it's, so it's like skunk spray. It could yeah. also be. It says it's only made from males during mating season, so it could just oh, be like a, a byproduct pheromone. of their it's a pheromone. That's how they get the ladies. <laughs> Um, apparently, <laughs> just kick him. Ooh. Apparently, it's powerful. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> apparently, it's powerful enough to paralyze smaller animals. Oh, there you go. So they just—they're um, just bullies. They walk around kicking frogs. <laughs> apparent. Ooh, ugh, this is awful. Apparently, a report from 1992 says that too old. Um, outdated. The pain doesn't exist. Of the venom does not get helped by morphine and like drugs like that. So even if you got it, you would just have to endure the pain. All right, but this is guy like morphine in 1992, not as good as morphine in 2020, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's potent now, boys. <laughs> it's morphine 2.0. Yeah, 2020, baby. <laughs> they would have knocked the old dudes in their ass. Um, True. On? So, ugh, okay. Ugh. It says a, a guy who got hit by the spur, which is like where the venom comes from, while trying to rescue an animal. Okay, okay. Um, like trying to ride horses. He's like fucking <laughs> cowboy boots on. <laughs> he described the pain as worse than being struck by shrapnel, like from a grenade. Was it had worse he, than COVID? Had though? he been struck by shrapnel? Though? He was an army member. Nah, fuck, he's got this. Um, and he said one month <laughs> later he still fair had play, pain. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that thing fucking spurred him hard. <laughs> and apparently. I don't know if this is saying persistently, but this is 15 years later. He still had physical pain okay, and stiffness. This guy, this so guy, just, this had guy just had Lyme disease. This guy had, <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got stung by it. He got like embedded by a tick right before. So he thought it was the fucking platypus. <laughs> well, this guy had PTSD clearly of the grenade and the platypus kick reminded yeah. him of the shrapnel. The, do you know how painful that would have to be then? That Anxiety like, can cause physical symptoms. That's the smartest thing you've ever said. Thank you. Not. <laughs> I'm, I'm you pre- dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've told the story before, but there was one time where like I said something mean to my sister, mm-hmm. and like so at dinner it was kind of like this, where like I'd sit here, my sister would sit across, and then I said something mean, and it was like when she finished her dinner, so she got up with her plate and she's gonna go take it to the sink, and I heard her walking behind me, and I felt a hit like across the back of my head. And it hurt. And then I turned around and like was like, ow, what the fuck are you doing? And she was in the kitchen. And I was like, what? And your, mom, just your mom sitting beside you like, <laughs> <laughs> like just slapped you with a fucking slipper. <laughs> but, <laughs> she said like just laughing. That, that is the most confused Chris I've ever God. been because I was like, I know yeah. for a fact she hit me. But it wasn't possible because she was so far away. So I was like, my brain just like made me feel that pain. Mm-hmm. For no reason. Fucking brain. <laughs> brain. 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 Dick, bro. <laughs> brain on some other shit. Brain yeah. on some other shit. Dope. You're going to get copy poo. striking. We'll make your money, that's right. That brain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make decisions, that's right. Brain. All right, oh. that's enough of you. Sorry. Speaking about copy strike Uh-oh. and um, money. So the I Lego like Bugatti video <laughs> got like 50,000 views in the last two weeks it's out of nowhere. It's like 120. Yeah. It's copy stricken, so he didn't make any money on it. Mm-hmm. But um, why? so the music I use is royalty free. Oh yeah, you explain this. Yeah, idea. but companies take it. Mm-hmm. So it's fine. Which is why I haven't made a video on my Lego Star Strikes. I'm like, what's the point? It's just gonna get demonetized. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like making a whole video if it's just gonna get. Give the people what they uh, want. I made it on stream. Or just give a big F you to companies yeah, and just put no music. Just make it silent the whole time. Yeah, I dig that. You just have to like, talk. The audio's broken. Or just, it's like a podcast. Well, it'd be better that way if you were streaming. It would suck if it was a video. But I guess mm-hmm. you could time time lapse it. Yeah. It's also really long, so I don't know if I want to bother doing that. That thing looks sweet, though. I dig. That's we should just have it in the middle of the table next time. Well, actually, one of the comments from last week said that Uh-oh. they said that they feel the table is too empty and that we need something in the middle. Uh, let's get a fruit basket. 
You know how Shane just said that that was the smartest thing you've ever said? <laughs> this was the dumbest thing you've ever fucking said. That whole 30 seconds, Ben's just going to be like, that was very confusing for audio listeners. <laughs> just silence. I think the only issue with that is, I mean, like, I was going to say it's going to cover us. It's not going to cover me. I'm usually on the side. But, like, you're tall. I still think it could cover your well, face. Well, like, we're not going to get something that's fucking three it's feet tall. Like well, this we big, could, like, It'd be, like, the size of this glass. Let's get a napkin holder. Just put it in the middle. No. No. <laughs> I'll leave. leave. <laughs> I don't know what would actually look good on the table. They said they wanted something like a our logo. Char- char- oh. Our charcuterie board. Wait. I mean, we just have snacks. Yeah. Question, no, that's the question of the week. Easy. What do you want on the table? Yeah, mm-hmm. tell us in the comments. Section. Or we could just make it tie-dye. How long have we been going? For? I don't remember when we started. Uh, We started at like eight. So there's no way we started at eight. Really? Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Like seven fifty-eight yeah. somewhere uh-huh. on there. Like forty-five okay. minutes. It feels like forever. Jeez. Uh, no, talking to you feels tough like tough to a... talk to you. Jeez, come on. What can I say? But yeah, we should. Yeah, comments. Let us know what we should put in the middle. Not a cup. Not a napkin holder. Looks okay though. I don't mind it. Don't mind the. What if we like stack them? What about no, I don't two trust cups? You. I don't trust you. Watch this, guys. Want to see something fun? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is gonna be very confusing for the audio only people. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll just put in some like. Uh, deaf closed captioning <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some braille in the video and we're all good <laughs> those people are good they're good she's like oh. <laughs> there has is there a device <laughs> no, Discriminatory. Well, there, no, there no. Must be now. There, is there a device that like would be like an ebook but for blind people where it would just like raise the braille yeah, for called, each page called hieroglyphics you have to go to a fucking pyramid <laughs> scrub walls i don't think i understand your question so imagine like a kindle okay but you're blind so you read braille okay you listen to it no but like i'm saying like would there be a technology for that because like you know maybe some people don't want to listen to an audio (laughs) book just because there's an alternate solution you could say that about anyone be like why would you read it there's audio books that would be so inefficient you're deaf and you're blind i just want to know if it exists you're deaf and you're blind yeah there (laughs) it is You're screwed. I mean, no, you Helen don't, you Keller. You don't get to read. I'm Helen sorry. Helen Keller lived a wonderful life, I think. <laughs> yeah, but she used to like she she learned how to read by like feeling people's vibrations in their throat. Could you imagine? Just be like, hi, nice yeah. to meet you. And she just fucking goes for I, your throat. I think <laughs> that's so sick. That's sick. I'm pretty sure. No, the the thing I always heard was that like her helper like put out your hand would go like spelling out the words oh, or yeah, like yeah. doing stuff like that of but what still, people were saying she'd spell to her. out hi and then she'd be like hi <laughs> no i'm she, pretty sure the throat thing was pull out a fucking puppet i'm sorry i need to google it <laughs> no you don't no, no we don't Drew. care google it for me you're no, better we at don't, it we don't care i do Actually, yeah i don't know no, we don't care two for two I, v one I, we've already gone through this youtube mm. google it for us <laughs> <laughs> we'll pass on this one drew yeah. god damn it you got trumped don't fuck fuck just that look uh, but no like it, it re- realistically if i you're you're talking like you know when you uh, those those toys where it's a black box with a clear area and then like a bunch of rods and then you put your hand into it and it okay. makes oh <laughs> yeah yeah i used to just like <laughs> yeah yeah and then you got a shane face yeah exactly it could be something like that but it would just be so inefficient i feel like they'd rather just listen to an audiobook the one thing that i ever saw that that actually made that whole thing worth while was at twitchcon 2019 no 2018 i didn't go me either um we were at the partner party and a girl walked up to one of those they had like the full body ones and she like put her chest there so her boobs were sticking out <laughs> and then i like me and will were there and we just like looked and we're like oh there was that, and she was like standing next to it, and then another guy walked up and just like grabbed where the tits were, <laughs> and then we we're like, "Uh, dude," and then he's like, "Don't worry, we're dating." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, thank God." That is pretty funny. You should have just gone up and like, anyway. Just <laughs> <laughs> get that two for one with that too. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Jeez, man, Drew. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? Not much. One of these days, you're just gonna say something, and then you're just gonna be gone. No, I just have to think the things. As long as, long as it stays in here, we're good. I have to think the good. things. You know what argument I brought back up before? Uh-oh. 
we went swimming. Let's hear it. Was the whole like intake and outtake thing that we had a oh, while ago. No. Yeah, that and was then, one of the original podcasts, wasn't and it? And then, so yeah, I, I told Drew, I was like, why he's dumb? Because what we were saying is basically, does X equal Y? Yeah. And then he's like, no, does Y equals X? <laughs> but like, they have to equal each other. Doesn't matter which way you put it. That's a classic. And then he's and then he started bringing out like all this formula shit, and I basically just like used it against no, 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 him. No, no, he's no, like, no, 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 no. It, no, no, it no, matters no. because they have different. Okay, it's, recap it's, for the, every, anyone who missed it. Is right. that what was it? We were saying if like intake can you, is X and outtake. What was is the y. argument? Like, can you chug remember. water as fast as you would like sweat it out or something? Yeah, yeah. Something like and then that. And we were like, like <laughs> could, could you could you chug as much water as you're sweating out to like, keep consistent? And Drew's like, can you? sweat as much as you're chugging in <laughs> to keep it consistent we're like that's the same thing and he said it wasn't no but it's, it's not it's not the same thing because you got to figure still, out where the still, deficiency is you're still willing to die on this yeah i'm dying on this rock oh my god it it, it matters because it's it's all like a verbiage thing about where the deficiency if, you, if you're saying i'm jeez i'm stuttering just because i'm fucking <laughs> so into it we got him wound up again um, all i've learned from this like, argument is that i know that a deficiency is in your mind <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> if X can't Monk keep up with up. Y, you know the problem's X. But if Y can't keep up with X, you know the problem's Y. But it doesn't matter. And the whole and, and argument is does on X what your equal Y? Is. We're not arguing about... In this specific about, case. This, like, See, we're saying, I'm arguing does it one on equal getting the other. To, on the road to getting them to equal but we're, each other. We don't other. care about the road. We just yeah. care about... I'm not, I ain't really no trying. math teacher. I don't need to see your fucking formula. You guys use fundamental analysis. I got a calculator. I'm good. I use technical analysis. He's dumb. <laughs> one, that was one of the things I hated most about university was how it changed from high school where they're like, you have to show all your work, like show every step. To just give me the answer. And then the, in university, it was just like, only what is in this small box will be graded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, why That's what I hated about high school because I'd skip all the steps mm -hmm. and then they'd be like. You get marks for each step. Yeah, you'd lose marks. And I'm like, I got the right answer. Mm -hmm. Why do you mm -hmm. care? Cause they gotta make sure you did it right, Drew. But like, uh, they gotta make sure. Yeah, looking back, like, but even when we were back, they're like, "Oh, you're not always gonna have a calculator." And you're like, but "Actually, now I, I do. I have my phone. It's a calculator." <laughs> you're literally always gonna have a calculator. Yeah, you guys, you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, grade nine math teacher. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> and if your iPhone calculator can't do it, you just load up Desmos and you're good to go. Wolframe Alpha. English? Come on. I know Wolfram Alpha. I don't know what the okay. fuck Desmos is. Desmos is a graphing calculator. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, like how you can make the Batman symbol out of like grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I just well, it's technically that. not a function. You'd have to use multiple functions. Wouldn't pass the vertical like line him. test. Nor did you, bitch. <laughs> Man, for someone who's failed so many math tests, <laughs> nice. you know a lot about math. <laughs> yeah. I know the important shit. Nice. <laughs> 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 like the vertical when, line test. <laughs> when's your test? Uh, next next week. Wednesday. All right, so oh no my god! Another fucking Wednesday. He can't hang. Wait. Oh, Wednesday. I don't know. I'll be back. I uh, I'll be back at like dinner time. Yeah, fair. How, wait. How, how long is it? Take? That's gonna be a question for next week's podcast. Will Drew hours. pass this test? No. no. Bad question. Oh, he answered two. No. <laughs> <laughs> I better. Otherwise I still I have to wait yeah. till like, the end of September. The conversation don't I had with Drew that? after that, when he's just like, man, like. I was so close, like, it was just right there. And I was like, well, like, you studied, right? And he's like, well, you're supposed to study 300 hours. I studied for, like, 20. So here's the thing. They recommend 300 hours for people you, that have you, no prior You didn't knowledge. read the fucking textbook. Correct, which the is whole, what I'm doing what, differently which, this Which is what time. it's based off of. How far are you? Uh, halfway. Actually, though? Well, like, technically a quarter. They break it up into <laughs> half. No, 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 no. They break up the test in the half. So test one is the first half of the book. Okay. Test two is the second half. You so didn't so have I've to... done half of the stuff for test two, which is technically a quarter of the whole textbook. You really didn't have to clarify the quarter, though. We okay. didn't care about the other half. You <laughs> should have just stuck with the half because now we're just going to roast you. I know, but it, it, felt, it felt dishonest yeah. saying half, even though it was no, technically no, it a actually, quarter. It makes sense. It is what it is. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I but felt anyway, dishonest. I hope you pass. See, the problem that happened last time is I have an understanding of the, like, big picture of mm -hmm. what I'm learning. The macro. So it's really... Good job. I read the textbook. <laughs> so it's really hard to read every single word of the textbook because I'll, mm -hmm. like, just skip over shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that. 
and then they'll test it on like one small detail that's in that paragraph. So then read which it. Which I would have skipped over. Yeah, I know. It's just really hard to pay attention. Yeah, but just I, read it. I know that's the answer. I need you to get like lost in this textbook like you do lost in like a fucking YouTube video at night. You know, or when we're playing a game and you know when you can't like speak to us. I need that, but studying. I actually just laid in bed last night and read a whole chapter. Straight up though, if you were to able to convert whatever it is, like when you're playing a video game, whatever it is when you're like on a YouTube video. Concentrated like, ADD. But, but you would, if you could somehow like focus that, like, like, you know, like you got to get the magnifying right with the sun and I'm, then you get that fucking beam. You would be Elon Musk. You literally sound sure. like my dad. You would be Elon Musk. <laughs> you, you sound like a peddler for Ritalin. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you so you could the focus. Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they did use Adderall. Or wait, oh, then what's Ritalin? I th- I have no idea. I just believe it's you. Use for, no. <laughs> what is Ritalin? I was going to say something because it was funny, but you would have called me an idiot, so I'm not going to say it. True. But um, anyway, yeah, you'd be Elon Musk. Yeah. You yeah. just called me Elon Musk. Thanks, man. No worries. <laughs> Figure your life out. Oh, Ritalin is also used for ADHD. Okay. It's like, or I think uh, Ritalin you, is for ADHD. And what was the other one? Uh, Adderall. Adderall is for ADD, I think. Right, because it just like like Ritalin chills you, and then Adderall like focuses you. What if you something. take both? You're, you're super, chill and you're focus. Superpower. Superhuman. You're Elon Human. Musk. <laughs> nice, okay. That's like every single one of my teachers growing up was like, Drew is really On smart, both of those. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs to apply himself. Mm. Oh, you were that kid. I was that kid, yeah. And then the one report card that I killed it which was like fifth year in high school when they gave him adderall for I the year killed it i did so well and my parents were on a cruise so they didn't actually go to the parent teacher night that's nice. like that's like the time when i scored my only goal in peewee soccer and both my parents had gone for a walk <laughs> and missed it nice <laughs> that's perfect and then i came back and i was like yo like i would have actually had a good parent teacher night you weren't there they're like yeah but we know you're doing really well this year we didn't need to go and i'm like beautiful no, they, they trust you. They, they need to hear you. something good about me. No, you don't need to pump your own fucking tires. I did. Nah. My a family friend of ours head. had like a 96, 97 average show at high school. And she would go to every single parent teacher conference. And be like, what can I do better? And I was like, I get yes. it. Like good on you for trying to like always improve. But like at a certain point, it's just like, you don't need to go. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> Why do you, you don't need that extra percent? No, you're already smart. Dude, don't get me. Hmm. My animation class where I got a 99%. You don't need that extra percent. It's not doing anything. Have I told you the story about this? And also, you would have gotten a 12, wasn't it? Yeah, they don't believe in hundreds. Yeah, fair. No one's perfect. No one fucking does 12. It's it's literally two schools in Ontario do it, at least. (laughs) I know. You would have had a 12. The two stupidest schools in all of Ontario. Literally not. Laurier and Hamilton, or McMaster. Which was voted like one of the top 100 schools in the world. Or it made it to like top 50 this yeah, year. Or something yeah, like it's that. competing with like Kenya, <laughs> Mexico. Like, of course, it's going to make top Harvard. 100. Yeah, Harvard was like number three. McMaster was probably like 100. And I behind actually, it, it actually might have been top 10 or top 15 or something. 100%. No. no. Well, the problem like, is. Is it like a specific of, a Pacific facility? Like, is that what made it? <laughs> yeah, they break it down for, like, science and math. Yeah, and so like there you that. go. Like, if one facility made it, sure. But the overall... But, Wait, like, they're all known... What was this from? Huh? Like, who reported this? I don't know. Someone smart. Oh, God. Was it McLean's? Maybe. Okay. According to 2019, McMaster's 77. Top but 100. Let's go. <laughs> McGill is 44. Let's see. World ranking. We'll do schools. Like I said, or, top 10. <laughs> you're close. Maybe top 15. I, I, to be fair, I started out at top 100. 77 <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Jeez. Well, number one is MIT, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah they got dogs running around. I really want to know where Laurier is. See, but, but if you, you can't if search, you do, apparently. If you do it didn't business, make the list. it'll probably be on the list. No. What? Lori's known for business. Yeah. Which makes no fucking sense that a school that is bankrupt 
is teaching about business and known as the best <laughs> school in the world for business. Is you oh, fair? You look up Laurier. Oops, couldn't find that. <laughs> See, is, but bankruptcy is, is a good business strategy. U of W it has to be because like they're they're actually decent. Apparently, U of T is really good too. I think U of W and U of T are like considered to be some of the best universities in mm-hmm. the world. Yeah. Oh, 163. For Waterloo? Yeah. Nice. Spurs. Give it to 77, baby. So the thing with Waterloo is really, aren't they really like engineering is like number one? And then after that, what do they That's have? It's garbage. Everything and else is like You know what I mean? Computer science and engineering. That's it. Yeah. And computer but science really only. what does have? But engineering was like for the last, like, I don't know, 20, 30 years. The, the computer science has really only been here for the last like 10, 15 both you, my parents have computer science degrees. 40. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what they're known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the only reason why it scores so low is it says, I don't know what faculty student would mean. I'm assuming that's like facilities for students. Mm-hmm. Ranks a 7.9 out of 100. Oh, <laughs> wait, sorry. That's like uh, student faculty. Like, it just says like, faculty student, 7.9. Everything else is like 40, 70, 67. They have such a, like, they're so much better in, like, every way than Laurier, though. Like, if you think of it, just their setup, like, they have all this land that they bought years and years and years ago. And Laurier's just, like, fucked. Like, Laurier's <laughs> literally fucked. They can't, they can't expand at all. And, and then Laurier problems. expands to all the shitty cities like Brantford. Yeah. And- Whereas Waterloo, like, I'm pretty sure they own that whole chunk of land around. Anyway, it's nuts. Yeah. yeah, poor Laurier. Guelph is also like in a similar situation, right? Like a lot of they land. They have a lot. Yeah. Of land. But the shitty part is that they only have two things going for them. They have the best meals in, in all of Hall. Canada. Like there? Like for any university, yeah, they have the like best student, meal plan. They, I went there for homecoming. Yeah. Fantastic hangover breakfast. Like apparently it's supposed to be like on par with like high end restaurant food. That's sick. Cool. And then food. the other thing is the only good faculty they have is the agriculture program mm-hmm. apparently it's the only good one that's where my grandpa went Which makes sense well i feel like the city's actually pretty nice too honestly that's where i was born it's super nice you were born in guelph yeah man really yeah guelph general hospital Why, i did though? not know that it's my parents lives you're an immigrant <laughs> yeah i'm an immigrant <laughs> from a third world nation <laughs> Jeez. Hey, I was born here. Yeah, same. Ah. <laughs> You're the immigrant. Mm-hmm. Shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was born in Guelph. I also know like some universities in Toronto, like so U of T is just I think overall generally good. Mm-hmm. Mc or Ryerson is really good at engineering Ooh. and arts. Ryerson University. Who? What's the one down? To the- Ryerson like competes with U of W for engineering. Actually, yeah. Ryerson's the one. Like that- they're considered to be really it's so good. So funny because McMaster thinks they have a really good engineering it's faculty. Just comp- they, Ryerson's they just the one nursing. downtown. Yes. Okay. And wait, they, they that's have so like, stupid. U of T's the one Sarah goes to. <laughs> they have like a student or like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> one of their wings for their like classrooms and stuff is inside a mall. Really? Like I went, my sister went to Ryerson and I went to go pick her up one time and I was like in, it was like across from the Ean Center. It's like a four story building where they have like Best Buy and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. on the fourth floor, it's just like Ryerson. Ryerson also <laughs> owns, <laughs> they, don't they part own, uh, they own the rink, Maple Leaf Gardens. Really? They're the ones who run that right now. Really? Why would a university own that? Did you hear they're using the path for the NHL playoffs too? What path? Like the, the underground path, yeah, it's just shut Toronto. off to public, like the path, or at least a portion of it, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Well, because there's Cause gonna it be goes a right from oh, like from whatever. a hotel to the ring, yeah, yeah, but like it's a close, like that is part of the NHL bubble, correct? That's yeah. crazy, and it's so. crazy because it's like because you can actually like think in the heart of Toronto, you can have what is there gonna be four teams, five teams, some there's got to be more, isn't it? Just only Toronto and Edmonton as the I thought there were other hubs too, or no. I thought those were the Canadian hubs. Regardless, so you have you can save six teams here, and you can all live in like one hotel, and you can all never step foot outside. Like you're literally locked in a bubble, and yeah. it works. Well, as long as they stay above. As long well, so as you can seal it, that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, one of the uh, one of the Bruins was, or two of the Bruins were walking around in like breaking quarantine mm-hmm. and now nine of the brunes are are unfit to play so uh, nhl they, they made it so like you don't have to announce any sort of injury you don't have to say anything Unless you just Matthews. have 
well, Matthews had told them way before. But regardless, you don't have to announce anything. You can just say unfit to play. And the coach came out and said, he was said, like, I think it's Cassie, right? Yeah. He was literally like, nobody is injured. They have no prior injuries. They're all now unfit to play. The league won't let us speak anymore or speak on this matter any further. So why? Like, do they just not want people They're to... They're just trying to protect the players, really. Like, if everyone can Protect their COVID, personal information and stuff. Protect the brand. Because, regardless. Because well, then they, I guess people would be like, oh, the players are stupid because they went out correct, and got COVID. But re- regardless, it was like the two players, and one of them is by far the best scorer on the team. Yeah. And now it's like their best def- their two best defenders, their best goalie. Like, ha- like, they're fucked. For the rest of the season, they can't play, or is it just for It's a 14 days, and they got really, really lucky. Well, if it's actually COVID. They got really lucky because they have a bye. So they could potentially be back to play. But the problem is all of the teams now are doing their, like, you, at the beginning of every season, they have a training camp to get like, getting back, back up, up and speed. running. So they're mm-hmm. having, like, a second mini training camp right now. And they can't so do it. So because they're unfit to play, they're missing out on that whole, like, getting brought, brought back up to speed. Jeez. And this is all like, because, like, w- two people, probably one, because only one was actually yeah. cited out and about. Didn't fucking care. Like, all the other teams are doing scrimmages and stuff to try and get back in. Like, the Leafs are separated into two teams, in, and they're scrimmaging against each other. And to be fair, these guys are and, two, but now they're down ten people, and realistically... And they're their best players. And realistically, if they're down those ten people or nine people, there's probably more in that grouping that Considering the Boston Bruins is their top line and goalie, and they're all out... Yeah. Yeah, it's their fun. <laughs> so, how does... Oh, sorry, and Chara. How yeah. is this NHL, like, makeshift thing going to work? Because you said they have two hub cities. So it's like... At least. You might be right that there's... US is it like the two groups play against each other and then the top person from each no, group goes to another? Much, it's pretty much so like you have... You already have all of like the, the matchups lined up. It was pretty much like five versus like 18 and then so on and so forth. And then you just bring in, say, f- these six teams go to this hub area. These six teams come to this hub area. And that's how you play it Because right, right but now, then what they're, about, playing like, the finals? For the, they're playing so, for the final spots in the yeah, playoffs. Yeah, so once this round's over, all the teams that lose leave, right? And then they'll quick readjust. So these are the hub cities, so I assume they'll bring in, like, if Boston then has to play Toronto, Boston would come into Toronto's hub and into their bubble. Do you know what I mean? But, like, are they still going to do, like, a whole two-week quarantine? Or? I think it's less for them because they can get tested so much. So, oh. I was reading, they're not allowed to travel to Canada until they have um, until they have quarantined and have three negative tests, like, 48 hours apart. Correct. And then the only issue, like, if they come to Toronto, they're going straight to the bubble. And, like, let's be honest, they're flying in their own plane. Correct. You're fine. The issue is like landing at the airport and well, how much people they come in contact with. Because like straight up, you, they would they would get off the plane, get on a bus, go right yeah. to the hotel. Like, like they get they on have, a bus as long on as the they tarmac. as long as they contain them instead Correct. of being like, oh, just go so, through. The so this all had to be VIP. so this all had to be cleared by the government. Um, MLB just tried to get the Blue Jays home games. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So provincial governments like sweet, we like your plan. It's good. Blah blah blah. What was their plan? It was to. So their home games teams would come in, come out, no bubble. Okay? So provincial government's like, okay, we're good with it. Federal government sits down and is like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit like we've they, ever they seen. They weren't going to contain anything? They're just like, just fly them in, play the fly game? Fly them in, well, play the Jays. the Jays. Okay, so, and they're also, they, they, they would be contained to like a hotel, but there'd be no bubble of sorts. Like there'd be no quarantine, there'd be none of that. There'd be no test. They'd just come in, play, leave. And so the big thing is the government's like, the government was like, I think we're okay with this. And then they look at the schedule and like, we have to play Florida and we have to play Tampa a combined 14 times. <laughs> Never mind. Because <laughs> when they made the announcement, it literally in the announcement, it's like, we took this schedule into consideration because <laughs> they got to go to Florida for like three weeks. Oh God. So it, uh, clearly, so now the, the, the Blue Jays, the season starts in 11 or 10 days. The Blue Jays are like, they have to find a stadium to play in. <laughs> so are they just going to have to move their entire team to like the U.S.? Yeah, Probably. They're going to play either in Buffalo at their like farm team, but then they have to expand facilities, or so they'll they're... just split a stadium. Or play, sorry, or play in Dunedin. Um, is is the issue with the stadiums just that like the other teams will be using them all the time, so like you can't really like both well, use it at the same time? Or you, They would have to build their own clubhouse. So they're like, we don't want to incur that fee. It doesn't make sense for us to. What does that, that mean? They like, have to build like their whole separate area for their team attached. 
So, oh. so where their team would change, where their team would get ready, the shot, like all the all the facilities would have to be separate from like the other teams. Oh, because they just can't overlap. Correct. So oh. you'd have to be separate, which they're like, we don't want to incur that. So they're probably going to play at, I think it's like Dunedin in Florida, because they have an MLB-ish ready place. So they have to just go and, into the heart of it. Yeah, technically, yeah. yeah. So Jeez. and like a lot of the players are like, well, we'd rather split another stadium because at least then we can be self-isolated because an MLB ready stadium. Do you know what I mean? Like this mm-hmm. isn't, but no one wants to play in Florida. So man, <laughs> they're fucked. And that would be really shitty for a lot of the baseball players in general. Cause they are not in good shape. No. And like, the MLBs, the MLB did it right though. I'm pretty sure if they like break containment or anything, like you get fined, it's like 50 K something nuts. Um, for them, which is nothing for them, but, but it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, and then, cause I don't think NHL has a That's fine. That's what they should be finding all those friggin' snowbirds coming up here. Yeah. Anyway. But I don't think NHL has a fine. NBA set up a whole snitch line. It's like fucking crime stoppers. Really? Yeah. You can call into this line and snitch on other players and it goes straight to the league and the league will investigate. Call up Dwight Howard. Yeah. That's how that guy got that. Um, caught for one of the dudes left the bubble to get fast food. MLB or and sorry NBA found out and they're like yeah 14 days locked in this room nice one idiot (laughs) (laughs) nice (laughs) nice (laughs) the one thing I've loved about like everything going back to normal is that now with the mask like the video I sent you guys from Quebec the people who just like refuse to put on a mask (laughs) and then just get arrested (laughs) and they're still like leave me alone like I'm not putting on a mask it's like yeah this is why they're fucking arresting you the the funniest thing is when they're getting arrested and they're like you can't touch me and it's like you are getting arrested (laughs) (laughs) I can do whatever yeah that one you linked that one you linked right there not whatever you want, obviously, but yeah, like, we're, we're I'm not, arresting you. The, not, the one thing I did find America. funny was in the comments because the one officer didn't have a mask on. Mm-hmm. You could read the comments? I, I was just doing translate. Ah. And it was just like... <laughs> it was all in French. It, it was just a lot like... Of work. <laughs> one, of, uh, one of the comments, it was broken, but they were like, you say mask must be worn, but officer no mask. So I was like, oh, because like you see in the video, the one guy turns around, he doesn't have a mask, but I'm pretty mm. sure he came in off the street to help them because they were like Correct. arresting him. What I've learned is the officers don't need masks. I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to tell an officer to put a mask on. Yeah, I saw that. Honestly, There's a bunch of people in the States doing that and getting arrested for it. <laughs> honestly, I don't really blame them because it's, I, it's a more of a matter of fact of just like, they need to be able to talk to people and like I can be heard. Mask on though, the masks make it a lot There's harder to hear people. Difficulties, yeah. And and I would rather like if police officers are getting tested, I'd rather them just not have a mask so that they can actually like. Are they getting them. tested? I don't think so. I feel like they should. Be. They should. If it depends, it, yeah. Uh, if, it, if it's like uh, maybe here, but <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm talking about Canada. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not the U.S. Um. I I feel like if uh. They, they must be. I have no idea. Here's the thing, though. They're first responders. Like, yeah, all like, the paramedics that they've had to deal with, masks. They, well, they all get tested, though, as well. They get tested every week or every two weeks. And they wear masks. Paramedics a little different, though. Yeah. Because like, every shift, you're supposed to be coming into contact yeah. with people who are sick. Yeah, whereas, there's bodily fluids involved. Whereas, as a police officer, you're unlikely to like actually come into contact with someone who's sick and more likely just keeping the peace and forcing... But People like you could mad. also get spit on if someone's just be causing a nuisance. Yeah, but you get arrested. But for if that you get now. spit on, a, a mask, mask is going to do more than nothing. It will, but like the spit is okay. Are you talking like this guy's a fucking sniper? Though. Yeah, I was going to say like, they, if it he's to go, spitting, it had to go <laughs> in your mouth or up your nose. <laughs> exactly. Like if I he's just... sniping that spit, like that's hey, good for you, man. I got COVID. <laughs> nice, nice. That's <laughs> like, fine. I'll take my. Fortune. That's a fucking <laughs> shot and a half. Like. <laughs> What are you supposed to do? (laughs) Jeez, man. I just think it's weird. I I just think it's a very weird demographic to exempt. Like, if you're coming in for an emergency emergency situation, I mean, we're a bank. Like, I'm not going to be like, "Uh, sir, before you stop the robbery, I'm going to need to put on a mask. But if you're coming in as a police officer just to do some banking real quick, like, why should you get to not wear a mask? At that point, are they on on duty? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to spot a plain closed officer. But like, we're talking about just like in normal uniform officers. Yeah, but like I, they go to Tim Hortons. Why can't they go in and get a twenty dollar bill when they're on duty? Because they can't. <laughs> what? They can go to Tim Hortons. That's fine. 
Why can't they go? Get, they can't do like, personal banking on time. Like, what do you mean? They can eat donuts on clock. They need clock, a twenty dollar bill to go get a donut. They got fucking. No, they don't pay for those. Yeah. They're officers. They get free donuts. I'm pretty sure they do. No. Yeah, Timmy's hooks them up, man. No. Did you never? It's like a huge, like multi-billion-dollar contract between like the, I wouldn't say billion, but the maybe, federal maybe no, millions. With how many they Literally eat? Literally trillion. With how no, much they eat? It's billions. Mil. It's like an exclusive deal between Tim Hortons and the federal like police bureau. It's kind of sketchy, but <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> I'm this fucking dude. bullshitting. <laughs> it's not at all true. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet, folks. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'd say going to a bank. And like doing personal banking while on duty. It's different than getting a coffee. Okay. But if they do, they don't. I'm not allowed to enforce a mask. Correct. I think that's dumb. I hope they arrest you. <laughs> For what? I don't know. Breaking quarantine, going to a wedding. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's legally allowed. Bring it, bring so, it full circle, baby. So therefore, he can come with us to... <laughs> Dominican, oh, Dominican, yeah, sure. Because it's legally allowed. I think those are very different scenarios, and you both know that, and you're just trying to roast me. You know what? No, I can fix this. Okay. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm going to. I hate that you've made me do this. I'm going to propose to Amanda. We're going to have a wedding in Dominican <laughs> at the end of November. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Drew? What now, buddy? And how and, many people? Is it outside? Twenty people outside. I'm in. 99. <laughs> and at their ceremony, I'm going to propose to Annie. So if you don't come, you're missing two important. And you're getting married in Florida. Yes. Yes. I'm there. Like we, we literally Dominican <laughs> straight to Florida. After being like two days in Dominican. No, no, no. no, a, no, week, no. a week. Wait, no, no, no. We canceled. Half quarantine? No, the, we, this is all still like there can't be the a whole little quarantine half time. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. We canceled Florida. We're going to Portland. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't, Portland, don't bring Portland back into this. They don't deserve this. Just fires in the background. Oh, geez. I do. <laughs> Poor Portland, man. Yikes. Poor man. Anyway, what would you do though? Assuming this was a real situation. I feel like you'd come to. A Not my part. His part. I would. I would think about it long and hard for at least a week. So my my big question is. I appreciate it. <laughs> my big question is why. Do you care so much? Just like, are you just afraid that it's going to affect you really severely or what? Like getting COVID. Now that you don't see your parent, I guess you still see Bree's parents, right? Yeah. And I mean, like, it would still there's, suck. there's stories it would, of people our age having getting super very fucked up. It would suck, but you have result. to remember that's like 1% of all cases. Correct. But like, why take the chance? At this point, I get that. But there's also like, at, at, to a certain point, I'm like, do you put on a lot of sunblock when you go outside? No, I'm an idiot, and I get burnt because of it. <laughs> yeah, so now you you probably have a higher chance of getting skin cancer than you have of getting COVID. <laughs> Correct. Fair. So why do you only apply that logic to COVID? Because this is a pretty one's good short take. and sweet, and one's long and painful. Well, they well, technically. So wouldn't you want the the short and sweet? No, 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 because I can be... see that one happening right away, and then the, the skin cancer just takes forever. And it's like, oh, I got skin cancer. I'm an idiot. Wear sunscreen. Case. You also said long and painful, so you'd rather the long and painful <laughs> than the short and sweet. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. No, I just, I just like, like how much how much we've noticed how inconsistent Drew is. There's just a lot of holes. There's a lot of holes. It's the whole asymptomatic thing. Like, you just... Do your part not to spread it as best you can. We're not saying that you should go out and lick people. Why did you say that to me? You literally downstairs, you're like, Drew, here's dinner. By the way, go out and lick three people tomorrow and you can live here for the next week. The only true part about that is that, <laughs> is that I gave him dinner. He's just like, he was complaining. He's like, what am I supposed to do for dinner? Listen, Why'd you guys get food without me? <laughs> okay, first of all, I said, what are you doing for dinner? And okay. he's like, we already ate. And then he's like, we had pizza. I'm like, oh, like, when did you guys have pizza? He's like, two o'clock. You think I'm going to go rock climbing on an empty stomach? That was dinner? 
No, that wasn't dinner. That was lunch. <laughs> oh, okay. But, like, I, I already ate at 2. Like, I'm not hungry. Straight up. I had a meal at 11. I got home from work at, like, 2.30, had a snack, and then had dinner at, like, right when we got back from climbing. My whole point was, should I be waiting? Like, are you doing something interesting for dinner? But you're like, no, I had dinner at 2. And I'm like... <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But then he gave me pizza, and it was the... It was In the, other words, you just weren't hungry at the time. It was 3, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was the best part of my day, because I had a... Very annoying day. Let's hear and about it. I got it. pizza. No, I did mostly just candy post. Oh yeah, uh, post. Unlucky. This man who's just like we should all be doing our part. No one should be going I out. Was try- I goes to the duty. fucking mall to pick up his ten dollar watch that he ordered from the states. Yeah, a little bit more than ten dollars. Yeah, this dude um, bought a fucking Kellogg's watch. <laughs> It like glows in the dark. A Casio calculator Sick, watch. Sick. The one thing that bothers me about no. you and your watches is the fact that you always buy new ones and then you stop using the old ones. At least from what I can tell. Unless Here's they all the are thing. the same. No, they, they have like occasions, don't they? My yeah. 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 And my old ones right now, one's battery's dead, and I don't want to go to the mall just to get a new battery. <laughs> this guy bought it like a how much was the this? Other, my, it out. How much, how much was, was this watch? watch? This watch? Yeah. US or Canadian? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it was like two fifty Canadian. You bought like a two hundred and fifty dollar watch instead of replacing <laughs> the one dollar no, 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 battery. No, 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 the no. one dollar battery in the other watch. No, 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 no. I'm still gonna replace the battery. The reason I got oh, this is I had been looking at it for a while and I got hammered with my parents at the cottage on Father's Day. And then I just realized that the watch I'd been looking at for a while was an extra twenty percent off because it was Father's Day. <laughs> and yeah, drunk Drew. Nice. Strikes again. Nice, I approve. Nice. Yeah, I got a, I got a deal. Fucking idiot. I shouldn't have alcohol and money. It's bad. <laughs> it's a bad combination. Hey, well, soon you're it. not gonna have any money if you keep drinking alcohol. Ah, two fifty. Nah. You fucking make bank. Next now. is you're a fine. TV. Is it? What? What do you need TV for? I, the guy I'm moving in with made a deal. He's like, I'll get a couch, you get a TV. All right. It's a shitty deal. It's a great deal. Aren't you only living there for like four months? Eight months, but I'll need a TV after. How am I supposed to watch the Leafs games? I'm always concerned about those deals. <laughs> watch that shit on my iPad? Yeah, no. It's when, n- when you move in with someone, they're like, you get this, I get this. I'm like, what about when I move out? Like, are you, you're not expecting no, to like, keep you'd take anything. The t- you would take the TV. Yeah. You would take that, the TV. That, that, literally, sure. that's the he's. It's not he's like, like some, we can either split it or you can buy one, I'll buy the other. It's not like some, okay. some shady deal some of our friends have made with like a dog and a roommate and stuff like that. Like, that's just some <laughs> sketchy shit. Shout out Bruno. <laughs> oh, dude, that gives me a headache every time I think about it. <laughs> and I want to be competition, so I paid. <laughs> Was that on the podcast that we talked about that? I don't know. That way, I think we brought it up. Like, just in passing. But. Uh, well, we're reaching the end of the podcast. Yeah. We done so? Rip Rob. Rip Rob. Rip yeah. Rob. Well, we want, I want to talk about the displays up on the wall, yeah. but then I didn't want to draw attention to Rob. Displays. They look sick. Spider. Let them go. I have like 10 spiders in this house. They kill all the bugs that you let in. <laughs> Anyway, display. Sure, this guy walks around like fucking pig pen from Charlie Brown. <laughs> I don't even know what that yeah, means, yeah, but I it must have meant something bad. Yeah, just look it up after. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, display. They look great. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to get a, a new podcast member, but yeah. You know what I noticed? Taking applications. What? Is that all of the displays? Drew's the only one who's looking up, and it's probably because he's short. Aww. Everyone else is looking down. Why is Rob looking the most down, though? Shane's tallest. He's, he's I asked looking to... down at you. <laughs> also, I love how, like, these three, they all kind of make sense for where we're looking, and Rob's just staring at the fucking outlet. <laughs> um, when I got a commission, I sent her the varsity creep emote, and I was like, make oh, him look like gotcha. this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, honestly, I don't mind any of them. They're sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Should I put a leaf logo on the hat, though? That would have been better. Yeah, you just it, it just would have been hard to do. Put it in a sharpie. You got this. Use the tape and make a, a leaf. stencil <laughs> and then fucking spray it. That'd be um. sick. <laughs> so well, uh, yeah, I was gonna Rob. say any more thoughts before we end it because I think we're at like an hour and twenty. Thoughts before we end it. Next week podcast, there's gonna be a hockey segment because we're we're fucking yeah, baby. We're like ten days away. Hold on. Here's the thing. It's not even going to have started yet. We're going to still have a segment. The first, Small. The first yeah. exhibition game is Tuesday, the day after next podcast. Thank God. 
That means in two Leafs weeks. Leafs versus Habs. This is a hockey podcast again. No. Correct. No. <laughs> that would be more like the refreshers. The we'll have you three to one, Christian. It'll be okay. It'll yeah, be, but I own everything fuck. that we use, so I it have. It is the, mine. <laughs> it'll be like it'll I'll take be shorter. Away your mic. It'll be shorter than Rob's football segments. They were yeah, long winded yeah. and boring. We'll just talk about the things that we actually enjoy. And side note, mm-hmm. why the fuck is it called football? Who cares? Because you kick it every once in a while. Yeah. It should be called egg ball. Why? It it's an co- egg. No, it's not. Have it you looked at an egg and looked at a football? They don't look CTE the same. CTE ball. Huh? <laughs> it's fucked up. Is that the concussion thing? Yeah. Okay. You're an asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely what Drew has. She's oh, got a major case of CTE. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, um, not wrong. Yeah, Rob's okay, though. Yeah. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, you just need a break, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He hates us. He hates us because he ain't us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has COVID. <laughs> Hopefully we see him next week. Jesus. He does not have COVID. He 100% Jesus. has COVID. No, he doesn't. 100% has no, COVID. He does not. literally has COVID. He, he Tested positive for COVID. Man, God. that is all lies. Everyone just spam this guy's Twitter and Instagram <laughs> with, do you have COVID? And we'll appreciate it. Genius. Bring it up at. If we even got like ten no, percent of the, the people, the poor guy, he doesn't have. If we got like ten people to do it, I'm pumped. He just couldn't make it. I posted in a video one time. Where I was like, "Can you at Rob and tell him, like, do He's frog like, speed no. or oh, yeah. something?" <laughs> and then he woke up and he had like a hundred alerts. <laughs> He's like, "What the fuck is this?" Just do that. Ask, do you have COVID? <laughs> no. Oh. Yes. Title of the podcast is Rob. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 I'm kidding. You just wait till the end till we talk about it. Oh, yeah, There's no. going to be so many comments. Of He's all good. Yeah, um, he, he, does he not have has COVID. COVID. He literally just couldn't make it this week. Mm-hmm. He has COVID. But and we'll see him next we, week. We had tape. Again, let us know what we should put in the middle of the table. That's our yeah. prompt for the comments. My vote's tie-dye. Wait, tie-dye, tie-dye what? what? It's white. You oh. make it tie-dye. No, like <laughs> we need something physical. We're not tie-dyeing the table. Color's physical. Uh, I need Rob here. <laughs> I think we finish it right there. Yeah. Okay. Right, bye. So yes, bye. <laughs> it is. <laughs>